con el teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, Melba. How are you? Hi, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Melba. Hola, hola. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, guys? So, Melba, hello. How are you? How was your day? Melba. Hello, teacher. Hello, how was your day? Did you have a good day? A woman day? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Did you rest yesterday? Um, Let's cancel ayer. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. In the classes, practice the classes. Oh, that's even better. Yes. So, what about today? Enjoying the weather? Enjoying the weather? Disfrutando el clima? Yes. Hey, it's delicious, right? Mm, that's excellent that's excellent well welcome to the class Melba. nice having you here yes Okay, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Carlos Luis, hello, how are you, mister? Hi, teacher, very, very well, and you? I am fine, I am fine. You know, here, same old story as usual, working. Uh, right now, I'm driving to my house, uh, yep. Okay, let me know when you get home. Okay, thank you, sister, for the compress. No, thanks to you. Miguel, hello, Miguel. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Great. How, are you? how are you? I am fine, just fine. Thank you very much. What about you? How was your day? Excellent, teacher. Selling. Uh, much the hope from the work, much work, a lot of work, excelling. Yes, yeah, he... that's normal. That's normal. What can we do, right? Yes, teacher. The vacation is e, e, inutile, Monte to work. Yeah, today back to work, but. Anyway, right? That's the way it goes. Well, mister, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Berenice, hello, how are you? Perhaps she's busy. No problem. No problem. Let's see who else is around. Isabel Rivas. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. Fine. Right, thank you. And tell me, tell me, tell me, how was your day? Very good. Very good. 
Yes. Okay, okay, that's excellent. That's excellent. What time did you finish working today? Uh, at four, at five PM, six. Uh, uh, seven. At seven. Ooh. Seven o'clock. That's late. That's a little bit late. But the good thing is that you are here in class. I am glad to have you here. Welcome. Bienvenida. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Alma Shamilet, hello, how are you? I don't hear you, Alma, your microphone. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening, good evening. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Okay, you're ready for the class? Ready, teacher. Ready. That's excellent, that's excellent. <coughs> and tell me, how was your day? How was everything? What about yesterday? What did you do? Can you repeat, please? What about yesterday? ¿Qué tal ayer? Mm, solo descanse. <laughs> oh, really? That's great. That's good news. Solo descanso es lo único. <laughs> mm, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Is, and today? is my day off um, today? Yes, today? I, I was. Okay. I was work. Today, back to normal activities. Normal. Normal, normal. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. And tomorrow, what about tomorrow? What time do you finish? What's the plan for the weekend? <sighs> Uh, the weekend, say work always Even to work. Sunday? Even also. Sunday? Oh, <laughs> también, también debo trabajar. Oh my gosh! Well, when's your day off? Uh, yesterday. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's bad. That was bad for you. Because sí. your day off was the same as a holiday. <laughs> no, descansé porque era mi día normal de descanso. Si no hubiera tenido que trabajar. <laughs> hubiera trabajado siempre. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Um, well. What can we do, right? ¿Qué le hacemos? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Así Solo seguir. Sí. Yeah, I mean, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Alma, no, nice no. having you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Rafael Chicas, hello. Good evening. How are you, mister? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm just great, just great. Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Okay, para el fin de semana. Uh, working. Nah, that's it. Work. All oh. weekend. Oh my gosh. 
When's your day off? Uh, I off maybe Sunday for the for the temporada. Season, the season. The season. The season. Well, actually, I... in your case, uh, it's the 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 say it the high season. The high season. I I need to stay in my work. Oh my my, that's no good news. But the same yeah. way, you still no home, right? No, you are not home yet. Okay, we will talk later. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Carlos Edgardo, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Yo, good evening. Good evening. Good night is when we say <laughs> bye. Yes. <laughs> good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Excellent, excellent. And what about you? What's your plan for the weekend? Um, I, I play to go, going to ride my bicycle the Saturday and the Sunday. Oh, really? Yes. I need to make exercise. <laughs> oh, yeah, doing exercise is good. See, sí, yes. I'm, I'm ready to begin in the class. That's the attitude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the attitude. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's good. Today we have a couple of very interesting activities. Yes. Welcome to the class, mister. Nice having you here. Thank you. Let's see, Marta Alicia, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, excellent. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Uh... How do you say uh, tengo un cumpleaños el domingo? Oh, really? A birthday party? Yes. That's cool. That's excellent. That's excellent. Where you? Where is it going to be? Repeat, teacher. And where is it going to be? ¿A dónde será? Cerca de mi casa. Oh, really? Close to your house? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. So it's going to be fun. Va a estar divertido eso. Espero. Okay, excellent. That's great. That's great. Well, Miss, let's hope you enjoy it. Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Give me one second. Okay. Aida Eugenia, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> ready for the class? Yes, ready. <laughs> okay, okay, and tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Um, Tomorrow and, and, and work. <laughs> and Sunday? And Sunday, um, let's go. Rest. <laughs> Resting. Okay, that's Rest. good. That's good. Mm. 
That's cool. What do you usually do on Sundays? What time do you wake up on Sunday? Uh, 6 a.m. I go to the church. <laughs> Sunday. Uh, 6 a.m. <laughs> yes. Isn't there a service Sacrifice. in the afternoon? Isn't there a, isn't there a service in the afternoon? Um, uh, when I don't when you go to church, you go to a service. Okay. I mean the 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 the, the meeting, the reunion, the mass. Uh, yes. Misa, those are services. Misa. <laughs> okay. Misa is 7 a.m. Okay. Another way to say it is a service. Otra manera de decirlo es un service. A service. Okay. Teacher, Aida, y <laughs> she go. <laughs> hey. Aida, she go. The Saturday for party and Sunday for church. No. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. So, Aida, and then what do you do the rest of the day? ¿Qué hace el resto del día? Um, rest, <laughs> eat. Right. Oh, okay. oh, oh go was... to the park with my daughter. Oh, really? You got a daughter? How old is she? Yes, uh, he's uh, eight years. He or she? He. Oh, he. son. Son. My son. Daughter is sí. hija. Daughter. Ah, my son uh, is a years old. Okay. Mm, it's it's big already. <laughs> ya está grande. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are nice, but man, at that age they are jumpy. Yes, is. Very um yeah. imperative, no sé cómo. Yeah. Hyper, hyper. Hyper. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. I well, like a place soccer. Yeah. Cool. Yes. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, Aida, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Hey guys, let me get the attendance, please. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. Alma Chamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Elías Alberto Cortés Salas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Gabriela Chanet Pozo Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Estera Yala Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Present teacher. 
Natalia Carolina Morán de Cabrera. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdames. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Ok. Perfecto. Well, guys, today, 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 we have a couple of very interesting activities that we are going to perform. And it's going to be nice, nice, very nice. Uh, uh, uh. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, we are going to start with a short conversation. Well, I'm going to give you one question. Out of this question, I need you to create a short conversation. Okay? The question is this. If you had more free time, what would you do with it? That's the question you're, you're going to use to start. Okay? Just to start, I need you to add a little bit more. You're going to be working in a small groups. You're going to have five minutes to prepare, and then you're going to present your conversation, okay? So we are going to, to talk here, all of us. Understood? Okay, let's see. So groups are ready. The question is there. So let's do it. Hello, Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Hi, this is good evening. Good evening. <risa> Solo que es que aún, aún voy en camino porque había bastante tráfico, no, no, no escuché muy bien lo que había que hacer. Sí, sí. Create a conversation taking into account the, the sentences I gave. Ok. Tomando las fracciones. The sentence is this: If you had more free time, what would you do with it? Sí, sí. You create okay. a conversation using that idea, talking about free time, okay? Una conversación, bueno, creo que no más o menos entendí como que una conversación de lo que hacemos en el tiempo libre, algo así. Exactly. Okay. Ah, no sé. Si tuviéramos más tiempo libre, ¿qué haríamos? Okay. Um, I am in my free time. I go to the. Uh, no, I play handball and dancing between the of the group. Um, Creo que tenemos que empezar así como, hello, my name is, uh, mi nombre, supongo, así, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Como que una conversación. Uh -huh. Luego, preguntar cómo estamos, uh, por ejemplo, cuándo descansas y luego decir qué hacemos cada día. 
Exactly. Ok, en el chat manden en lo que hacen en su día de descanso y vamos armando la conversación entre las tres. Ok. Ok, ahorita pongo lo mío. Y fui a hacer casi 130 kilómetros. Entonces, si fue a eh, teacher, yes. para decir pueblos, ¿cómo se podría poner en inglés? Towns. Solo towns. Yep, towns. Okay. If I have a free time, I want to know what towns. <laughs> no. Towns. Mm. Bicycle. 
if correct to say, if I have more free time, I'm going to know more time for riding my bicycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know to buy my bicycle and drive my motorcycle. Even only in two, uh, como se dice, dos ruedas. <laughs> tires. Yes, two tires. And teacher. Hello, guys. Did you do the conversation? Are you ready? Teacher, uh, the exercise is only the the answer. No, you have to create a conversation. Este, vamos a hablar en este. Tienen que crear una conversación utilizando esa idea. Okay. Teacher, y nosotros solo dijimos que teníamos un tiempo libre y decíamos una cosa. Estudiando en inglés. Class. Teacher. Lo que pasa es que no hemos podido, bueno, yo porque ando en el tráfico todavía, teacher, no, okay, pero, okay. pero sí más o menos te puedo tener una idea de, de hacer una pequeña conversación. Ok, that's the idea. I don't want También, something to be. No okay. problem, no problem, I understand. Ok. Hello, teacher. Hello, did you do the conversation? You ready? Is it eh, yes, teacher. Ya listo es lo que sucede es que como Rafael va ahorita para su casa, va caminando, pero ya, ya lo hicimos. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's great because in two minutes we go back. Okay, two minutes. Okay. Ready? Aún hemos armado the conversation. One minute. Así como es de ejemplo, vamos bien. Luego seguir la conversation, teacher. Yes. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody to come back.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's ready, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see. First, Aida. Aida Eugenia, you and your group? Yes, thank you. Ready, guys? Carlos? Yes, ready. If you had more free time, what would you do with it? If I have more free time, I go to know more town riding my bicycle. I like to ride into tires. Okay. And Aida, <laughs> if you have no, 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 I'm going to ask Damaris. No, Damaris, if you have more free time, what would you like? What would do with it? I would. I would like it to go camping. In the mountains. Okay. New question to Aida. Aida. <clears throat> if you had more free time, what would you do? What what would you do with it? With it? Okay. I want to be seed other place or I want to visit uh, my parents. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Carlos Luis. Teacher, uh, I practice with you. Uh, no, with your partners. Con quien iba? Um with my partner. Hello. Uh, there's Melba. Melba and Gabby. Hello. Yes. How are you? Hello, Melba. Fine, thank you. And you? How are you today? I had a very busy day. Hello, Carl Carlitos. How are you? Hello, Melba. Fine, thanks. And you? How are you today? My day has been busy. I would like to have more free time. Okay. okay. If I have more free time, I would go to the gym and study the new career. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Marta Esther. Con Rafael me tocó, pero no sé si estará listo. Well, let's find out. Rafael, are you ready or not yet? Hmm, perhaps not, but tell me, Marta, what about you? I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, okay, Rafael is ready. I'm sorry. Good, good, good. good night. Good. Okay, I mean, Rafael, if you had more fried time, what would you would eat? Um, I mean, uh, travel, riding my motorcycle, and I uh, visit uh, different places in this country or in, uh, in another place. And maybe in another country. That's it. Uh, I mean, I would you like to? I I had a more free time. Well, and uh, and you? Um, go to the gym. Keep studying. And travel to another country. Yes, sounds good, sounds good. And uh, that's it, right? Okay. Solamente. That's perfect. Yes, well done. Thank you. 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 Marta Alicia and Miguel Alejandre. Miguel Angel, I'm sorry. Okay, teacher. Te pregunto, Martita. Okay. If you had more free time, what could you do with it? Mm. I would take more Insta for course. And I will watch a lot of anime and go to the gym. Ahora pregunto, Miguel. If you had more free time, what would you do with it? And with time, study a master degree in finances and study new languages and, and practice swimming. Okay, perfect. Very well done. Practice swimming. That's cool. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Alma, Shamilet, and there was Alma, Gabriela, and Isabel. Hello. Empiezo yo. Sí, sí. Hello, my name is Isabel. My day off is Thursday. I shall die with my son. So, so, and we wait for a work. In the afternoon, I go to the gym. Okay, my name is Alma. Uh, my day off is Thursday. But if I have more free time, free time I will share more time with my family or dedicate more time to myself. No sé. ¿Quién más estaba con nosotros? Perdón. Gabriela. Es que pensé que se iba a hacer, o sea. Ok, no, but that's ok, that's ok. Well done. Thank you. Berenice, are you ready? Or not yet? Well, perhaps not. Well, well done, guys. We are going to go over another activity later on. But let me right now take just a little something with you. Mm -hmm. Because we got a couple of things to do from the manual. So let me share with you from the manual first because we are... Uh, uh, uh. We're going to do a couple of activities from here. OK, this is quite easy. How to use can. We can use the verb can. When we use it for in questions, we can ask for two different things, information or possibility. When we ask for information, where can you where can I, where can he? When we use can in this situation, we are asking for information. Where can I stack all the new products? For possibility, can you stack all the new products? When we ask someone to do something, it's a possibility. Cuando le pedimos a alguien que lo haga, que haga algo, it's a possibility. Because the person can say yes or no, right? But when we use the information questions, of course, we are asking for information. It's very important for us to remember something, guys. Uh, there are just two types of questions, okay? Just two types of questions. Yes, no question, and 
information questions. As simple as that, okay? You can ask informations that are answered with yes or no, or you can ask questions that are answered with information. And the information questions are very simple. If you remember, I guess, well, now I'm sure you have seen them already, but just for us to remember, when we talk about uh, information questions, we refer to words like how, when, why, where, what, what who, who's, which, which. Oops. Hmm. What am I doing? Okay, so these are information questions. So remember, these words, of course, they are asking for information. Okay. So those are information questions. But the, when the question is a yes no question with the verb can, with the modal can, we are asking for a possibility. So the exercise, we're going to flash it over because we have a couple of things to do today regarding the, the, the grammar, okay? So the exercise for you is as follows. You're going to have three minutes to do the exercise and it's the one that appears in the manual in page number 14. You have to complete writing the question, okay? So notice something, if the answer starts with no or with yes, it's a yes, no question. That means that the question starts with can. If the, if the answer starts completely with information, that means that we are using where or when, okay? These two are we gonna use, vamos a estos dos, okay? And we are going to use can, of course, like number one. Okay, you can store them in the back room. Okay, we need to write a question. What do we do? We come and we go like, uh, mm -hmm. where can we store the boxes, for example? Where can we store the boxes? And the answer, you can store them in the back room. Number two. In this case, it's a yes, no question, you see? So we start right with the verb. Can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. You see, simple. This is what you are going to do. So you are going to do three, four, five, and six. You are just going to do four of them. Okay, same groups, three minutes. Hurry up.
Why? Mm, este sí sería where. 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 Um, where it can. Uh -huh. can so, no, when. Uh, you. <gasps> what It could be where can I or where can we? Where can we? Where can you start? En esta cómo sería así? Where, where can you? Where can you start? Um, Nike, 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 Un ID card, um, um, ahí sería, where can you store it? Where can you Where hat? Where? Mm -hmm. 
así digo ya total bueno ya me las cuando cuando y le ponemos a Carlitos se lo rey dicha dicha es en Where can you start? No, where can you start the night cars? Oh. Okay, guys, let's see how did it go. Okay, the exercise. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, number one was... Where can I store... The boxes. Number two. Can she sign the form? Oh, the question mark is already there. Number three. Let's see. Number three. What you got, guys, for me? Where could me day television? Mm. Look at the answer. It's yes, no question. No question. It's a yes, no question. So it could start mm. like this. Can, can. Okay. Can you move all the televisions, all the, all the TV? You see, can you move all the televisions? Number four. Hello, guys. When can they? Okay, when can they? Can they pile up the boxes? The boxes. Pile up the boxes. Perfect. Excellent. Number five. Where can you store the nighty card? Where can you store? Where can you store the nighty card? The nighty card. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> It's a yes, no question. Again, we start with the verb, right? Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Uh, can you? Can you? Can you give me? Information of the product. Of the product. Simple, right? So you see, 
This is the way the exercise goes. So let me read again. Where can I store the boxes? You can store them in the back room. Can she sign the form? Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Can you move all the TVs? No, we can't. We can move all the televisions. When can they pile up the boxes? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Where can you store the 90 cars? You can store the 90 cars on a warehouse. Oops, here it was, where can I or where can we? I'm sorry, there was a mistake here. Can you give me information of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. Questions? Okay, perfect. Let's see, next exercise. Okay, guys, look. We have here a shipping order, okay? Well, this is the label of an order. So you got here uh, some information from Trivers Inc. 23 to uh, Trivers Inc. 23 Glenway, San Carlos, CA, California. 0570 made in the United States to literal role number 34 La Unión El Salvador. Okay, and this is a code number. Tra tracking number, number 00120134233, quantity 65 units, shipment 74784, sender AB67H. MGF manufacturing date, uh, the 12th, let's see, April the 12th, 2013. Net weight, 120 pounds. Okay, guys, with this information, you have to answer the questions. Very simple. Use the information in order to answer the questions. I want full answers. What is the shipping address? You go like, the shipping address is, okay? What is the mailing address? And you go, the mailing address is. Okay, you are going to do that exercise working in groups. Now, something that you need to remember this, there's a difference between shipping address and mailing address, okay? Good. Okay, when you are talking about uh, the shipping address, okay, it's the dirección de envío. The mailing yes. address is where from, de donde. Okay, shipping is the destination, mailing is the origin. Okay, yes, teacher. perfect. Questions? No, nothing. Okay, no. guys, go to the groups again. Yes, teacher. So, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up.
Puede compartir usted pantalla o trato de compartirla yo. Vaya. Uh, ahorita. Vaya. Mm. What is shipping address? The shipping address mm -hmm. is Come on. Is teacher shipping address is um a donde va ¿Cuál? el artículo no es creo yo cuál es la dirección la dire creo que es origin, la dirección origin okay okay travels is Twenty three package. There are sixty five units in the package. Where is the manufacturing date? Twelve April or Sevilla. What is the manufacturing date? It is manufacturing date. Yes, the manufacturing date. Manufacturing date. 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 Is April twelfth of twenty thirteen. Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Twenty. 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 Eighty-four, La Unión, El Salvador. What is the mailing address? The mailing address is Greenway, San Carlos, California. Oh, five, seven, no. Zip code. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yo sé que el código. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 the shipping address. The shipping address is the origin. La shipping um, es donde se origina. The mailing is the destination. Sí. Sí, es fácil también. Yo le dije eso a Mari, pero no me hizo caso. Yeah, yeah, this lady. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Mari. <laughs> I wasn't even here. Yo ni estaba. <laughs> Como el teacher no estaba, hace que Carlos es el culpable. Yeah, we can Mary, do that. We can do that. The Mary say the, uh, she is listener.
Okay, we're just waiting, just waiting. No problem, but you are here, you are back. Okay. Okay, let's see, guys. Well, in this one, I'm just going to ask and you're going to tell me the answer, okay? Okay, what is the shipping address? Let's see, the shipping address is going to be given to me by, uh, 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 let's see. Aida, tell me, what is the shipping address? The shipping address is Glenway, San Carlos, CA, tip code 0570. Okay, that's okay. Just remember, the address starts here, 23, 23 Glen, Glenway, San Carlos. Okay, 23. Perfect. Thank you very much, Aida. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What is the my the mailing address? That one goes to mm, mm, Marta Alicia. What is the mailing address? Uh, yes, continue. Uh, number 34. Uh -huh. La Unión El Salvador. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Miguel Angel Rodriguez, tell me how many units are in the package? Thank you. Six, five units. Okay, just remember, there are 65 units. 65 units. Thank you. Now let's see, Marta Esther, what is the manufacturing date? The manufacturing date is October, April. Okay, April the 12th. April. 2013, no, 2013, you can say 2013. 2014. Yes. Perfect, thank you. Okay, guys, now, this is something different. How to use be going to. Okay, now, let me go over some basics, okay? You know that the in English there are different types of future, right? In English we have different types of future and it's very important for us to remember when do we use each type of future, okay? Now, when we are talking about be going to It's very important for us to remember the, 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 when do we use it, okay? Now, uh, give me one second. Now, uh, in English, you can express the future using will, right? And that's quite common to use the, the that's the, Simple future tense. Give me a second, please, that I'm fighting with something here in the computer. Okay. We use will. Let me explain like right here. It's easier for me. Okay. 
when talking about the future, okay, there are different types of future. Today, we are just going to focus on two types, okay? Future tense. Now, we have future with will. And we have future with be going to. That's the other type of future. Now, first of all, something very important for us to remember is when do we use this type of future? When do we use will? Ah, okay, we use it when we want to uh, make a promise. when you want to make a prediction or when you want to make a sudden decision, okay? That's the way we use will. Notice, a promise, prediction, and also when we want to make a Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Give me one minute, please, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing? My bad. Okay, here it goes. Or when we want to make a decision, okay? Now, uh, how do we use it? Very simple. It's very simple, okay? We use it uh, when we are talking about the auxiliary wheel. We just use it, the subject, the structure is very simple. You have the subject plus you have the auxiliary. In this case is will. Plus the verb. And the verb goes in the base form, el verbo en su forma base. For us, it's like saying present plus complement, right? Let's leave it like this. Okay, what are we talking about here? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Oh, it's very simple. Did you notice? I will rest tomorrow okay in this situation if you notice guys we have the complement tomorrow the verb in the base form rest the auxiliary will the subject i very simple that's how we do it okay now remember we are talking about a promise a prediction or a sudden decision what do we say okay like i will rest tomorrow that's a prediction a promise Imagine that I tell you, hey, guys, uh, I will send you an extra exercise tomorrow. Yo le digo, hey, le voy a mandar un ejercicio extra mañana. That's a promise. A sudden decision. Aida is walking, getting home, va de camino a casa. She's very relaxed. And suddenly she sees a little store next, close to her house. Okay. 
then uh, she says like, mm, I want a soda. I'll pass by by in a soda. He says, I'm going to buy a soda. Pasaré comprándola. That's a sudden decision. I will buy a soda. Okay. Carlos is on his way home. He's in the motorcycle, and he's like, "Okay, I'm, I'm going home." But suddenly he sees the supermarket and he says, "Hmm, I'm gonna buy a coffee." He said, "Hey, voy a comprar café. It's missing. Ya se acabó." So he decides at the moment to do that. Will in this case is will. Okay. But we also have a different type of, of future. In this case, look, I will rest tomorrow. Uh, I either will buy I either will buy a soda. Okay. He will he will uh, uh, I don't know he will go to he will go to sleep early okay we are using the structure very simple the subject the auxiliary will and the comp the verb in the base form and the complement now remember promise prediction sudden decision now we are talking about be going to in the case of be going to when do we use it okay in this case we are talking about plans okay it is something that you are going to do but that you have planned already okay Esto es algo que usted ya planeó. the structure is slightly different how so okay we use the we have the subject plus after the subject, we have to place the B going to plus a verb, okay, a verb in the base form. Plus the complement. Okay. Okay, she's, uh, I say, I will rest tomorrow. That's a prediction. I'm not sure yet. But now look at this sentence. In this case, when I say, I am going to rest tomorrow, there's a difference. Which one is it, you ask me? Okay, the difference in this case is that when I say I am going to rest tomorrow, I'm talking about a plan, right? In this case, I'm talking about a plan. It's something like uh, I don't have work tomorrow. I will not like, uh, I will not compromise on doing anything else. No tengo trabajo, no me voy a comprometer en nada. Tomorrow I talk to my family and I told them, okay, tomorrow I'm resting all day long. Don't talk to me. No, don't get, ask me to do nothing. Mañana no me pida que salga nothing. I'm going to rest. It's a plan. Okay. It's like when you say, okay, if I say, uh, I will start uh, another career next year when I say I will start another career next year that's it could be a prediction it could be a promise but if I say I am going to start another Whoopsie.
career next year. In this case, there's a difference. In this case, I am talking about a plan. I am saying that as it is a plan, I have taken steps, ya tomado pasos, okay, in order to make it true. I mean, I already asked at the university what are the 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 what are the requirements, what documents do I need to present? I mean, there's a difference. In this case, it's because steps have been taken. Okay. So it's completely, completely different than if I just say, ah, I will start another career next year. We are talking about a different idea, completely different. Okay, questions, guys? Do you have any question? No question, teacher. No questions? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Do you want a screenshot of this? ¿Quieren una captura de esto? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. It's very simple, right? You can see it's quite simple. This is, in grammar, this is a very easy topic. Gramática esto facilito. Okay, let me, give me just one second. I'll send you the, the, the screenshot. Let me adapt it to the screen. Solo lo adapto a la pantalla. Okay, guys, there we go. You receive it? Okay. Any question, guys? Tell me, tell me. No questions? Are we clear? Remember, the future with will is used in order to express sudden decisions, promises, okay? Things that you plan to do, things that you want to do, I'm sorry. When you use the be going to, we are talking about plans, okay? And remember, the conjugation, the be going to, I am going to, you are going to, he is going to, she is going to. So the conjugation is the verb be. Okay. Am, is, are. That's it. Like Isabel is going to work tomorrow. Right, Isabel? Isabel says, nah, no, I'm not working. Hello, teacher. Are you working tomorrow? <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I can say Isabel is going to work tomorrow because there's a schedule. It's a plan, right? Es un plan, no es algo que decidieron inmediatamente. So in this case, there's a schedule. She has a check-in time. She has a check-out time. Tiene hora entrada, hora salida. So you see, that's a plan, right? If I tell you, okay, in my case, tomorrow, let's see. I am going 
oh, tomorrow I'm going to sleep late. I'm going to wake at 6 a.m. After that, I am going to to start teaching from, well, I, I'm going to teach a class from 8 to 11. Then I have to go to San Salvador. I have to teach another class from 1 to 6 p.m. And on Sunday, I am teaching a class from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So that's a plan. I have a schedule. I have to fulfill those obligations. Ese es un plan porque yo tengo que, es una obligación. Ya hay un horario, ya hay un grupo de gente esperándome. So that's a plan. Okay. Remember, when we are expressing plans, we use the be going to. Questions, guys? Preguntas? Remember also the conjugation. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are going to. The only thing that I want to, to emphasize is that you're going to listen to some people sometimes using gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach a class tomorrow. Gonna is the pronunciation of going to. So I can say, I'm gonna. Like Aida says, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go to sleep as soon as the class finishes. She says like, I'm dying here. Please teacher finish. I'm sorry, Aida. You have to wait. But she says, I'm gonna go to sleep. Like in my case, I said, oh, as soon as the class finishes, I'm gonna go have dinner. I didn't have enough time, so I'm having dinner until I finish the class. You see, I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to have dinner after finishing the class. Right? Teacher. Yes. I come to is a say I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I gonna. You're gonna. Going to is pronounced gonna. Solo el going to se pronuncia como gonna. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Questions? Another question is the moment. No? Okay, okay. That's perfect. Exercise. Well, we'll go again to the manual, okay? Let's see. Let me share with you. Okay. How to use be going to? In the affirmative, we say, I'm going to give you the information. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Who is going to deliver it? Okay. Now, when you want to make a negative sentence, it's very simple. It's the verb be negative. I am, I am not. The airline is, isn't. Your packages are, your packages aren't. So the negative is just adding not after the verb. So the exercise in this case is very simple. What are we going to do? We are going to put the words in order and then answer the questions. Okay? You are going to put the words in order and then answer the questions. Like where... Are they going to pick up the package? You write it in order and then you answer. Okay. How do we do it? Then you answer the, with the information that you have. Perhaps here. 
Who is going to receive the chipping? Ah. You come here to the box in order to get the info. So you put the, the words in order to make the question and then you answer according to the information you have in the box. Let's do this fast because we still have another activity, okay? This is easy. Marta, they left you alone. Me la dejaron sola. Sí, teacher, me quedé sola. No problem, no problem. I will move you, okay? La envío a otro grupo. Okay, gracias. Len is going to write the, the new material. When is the new material going to arrive? When is, when when is, is, going, when is going the, to mm -hmm. arrive the new material? Yeah, you can say it like that. When is going to arrive the new material? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. When is going to... 
When is the return on Lima Chula? Sí. Bueno, ahí solo falta contestar las preguntas en base a esto. De verdad está imposible levantarlo. When are they going to? Es imposible levantarlo cuando detecte su huella digital. Y ahora viene la parte más importante. Where are? When are they going to pick up package? I'm going to give the information that I'm going to transport the shipping to package and from tomorrow. When is going to arrive the new material? Este sería para mañana. The new material is going to arrive tomorrow. Yes. Save shipping. I'm going to save shipping. When is going to arrive in the material? The new material is going to arrive tomorrow.
<laughs> okay, yeah. guys. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Well, you are going to dictate to me, okay? Let's see. The first one. What's the question, guys? We start with where, right? Where? Where, where are they going to? Where are they going to? Pick up the package. Pick up the packages. Packages. Okay, where are they going to pick up the packages? Okay, who's got the answer? What's the answer here? La respuesta. Yeah. Our airline is going to transport the okay. package. Ah, the airline. is going to transport the packages. Okay, who's got a different answer? Quien puso una respuesta distinta? Who's got a different answer, guys? Nobody? Okay, next. Number two. We start with who, right? Because it's a WH. Who? Who is going to shipping? Who's going to receive? Receive. 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 Receive the shipping. The shipping. Who is going to receive the shipping? So the question: Who's gonna receive the shipping? The answer. I am going. I am going to receive. Ah, I am going. I am going to receive the shipping. The shipping. Perfect. Very simple, yeah. right? I am going to receive the shipping. Period. Number three. When is going to arrive? When is going to arrive? When is going to arrive? Material. The, news, the new material. material. When is going to when arrive the new material? material. Right. When's going to arrive the new material? Perfect. Now, what's the answer? <laughs> the new the material. Answer? Is uh -huh. going to arrive tomorrow. The new material is going to arrive tomorrow. That's just perfect. Thank you, guys. So, the questions Where are they going to pick up the packages? The airline is going to transport the packages. Who's going to receive the shipping? I am going to receive the shipping. When is going to arrive the new material? The new material is going to arrive tomorrow. Simple, right? Now, questions? I, I, I no questions. No questions. Okay. No questions. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's see. I need to ask a couple of questions. Uh, how are we doing with the platform? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Are we working on it? Ready. Okay, okay. That's cool. 
Remember, uh, we are supposed to be advancing on unit one, right? So tomorrow I'm going to be checking. El día de mañana voy a estar pasando limpio. Uh, if you can advance, if you have any doubt, you know, you can contact me anytime. That's not a problem. Si hay dudas, pueden contactarme. Uh, through the group. And I mean, but if you have any doubt with an exercise, I need the number of the exercise. Please, necesito el número del ejercicio. Okay? Because sometimes people send me just the screen and they cut exactly what they want. But if I don't know the number of the exercise, I'm like lost. And remember, it's not the only group I have. No es el único grupo que tengo. So sometimes it can be kind of confusing for me. But if you specify the number of the exercise, I'm cool with it. I can help you, okay? Let's see what else. Uh, please don't forget the attendance. It's very important. I am so glad that all of you are very steady. Me agrada mucho que todo sea muy, muy... Siempre estemos por acá. That's very important. And it's important for you because you can advance. I am also glad to let you know that I have seen advances on the speaking. I can tell that it was because it was a new teacher. Me imagino que era porque era un profesor nuevo, ¿no? But I can hear you are speaking more, you are practicing more. That's awesome. That's great. Eso es muy bueno. Uh, I'm going to continue working with the one-on-one -on -one conversations because that's very important. That exercise we do at the beginning, el ejercicio que hacemos al inicio, as a warm-up, is very important so you can like get in the rhythm of the class. So guys, let's see. I hope you have a good weekend. I expect to see you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thanks Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Gabriela. Bye. Bye, Damaris. Bye, Chi. Yeah. Yes, Rafael.
Well, that's it for tonight. See you.